Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Kieran Hawk with Reviews, Hacks, and Tips. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to take you into Commission Gorilla and I'm going to show you how you can modify your sales page in Commission Gorilla to make it look like the sales page from the product that you're going to be reviewing and launch jacking. Okay? So it's quite easy. First, we want to just go into Commission Gorilla and I'm just going to pick one of a previous product that I've done a review on and I'm just going to make a duplicate here so I'm going to say here's Flare I'm going to clone the page here it's going to bring up the exact same picture just a different clone and so I'm just going to resave it here I'm going to just call it demo so right here I'll just say demo and then right here guys if you were really doing a launch jacking review page you would put in your affiliate link right here and then save it okay I'm just gonna keep all that in there so this is demo and it, this is for flare but for example if I wanted to use the template of that flare review but use it for this example of tweet X well as you can see this sales page the color and the background and everything looks a little bit different than this one right so if we want to have a fluid a fluidity of the sales page to our review page then it kind of comes off a little bit strange so this is how we're going to change that guys so here is my TweetX I've already uploaded this this is my free image hosting now if you don't know what this is all about how to upload your images on free image hosting check out my link in the description below also go on my YouTube channel and you'll see a tutorial about how to get your images into your free image hosting site okay and then from that you can input it into your commission gorilla okay so that's what I'm going to show you today is the commission gorilla and how we can change it to look like the sales page all right guys so I want to change the logo the heading and the bundle here so it's very simple and also I want to change the background so guys first thing I want to do let's just get the background so I want to right click inspect and then this sidebar here is going to come out and we're just looking for anything that says background so if we look right here there it is guys so if I click on that this is the background from the sales page of TweetX so I can copy all this I can bring it over into Commission Gorilla and then if you look down here on the left page colors so if I just clear the background image you see it's all gone black now if I put this in and just click on the side here there we have the exact same background as we have in our uh, TweetX sales page okay now we're not done that's a good start but we're not done so we want to change the logo so if I just go to here this is very easy I did this in the other video with the free image hosting so let me just quickly change this again guys so copy image okay yes and the heading again very easy and if I'm doing this a little bit quick that's because I've already done it in another video the free image hosting video that you can see on my YouTube okay just change that okay and while I'm at it I'll just change this bundle too guys to tweet X just so we have continuity okay all right there we go that's looking good now guys if we look at our sales page we want to look at the boxes here so this is kind of like a yellowy orange box and here's some more here so that's just, that's the color that we want to get with our tabs for this one okay now it's almost the exact same color so we're fortunate but I'm just going to show you the process we wouldn't I probably wouldn't change this because the colors are so similar from this flare product to the TweetX pro product but I want to just show you the the methodology okay so what I would do guys you need to get this ink dropper here this is a chrome extension this is called the the color pick eyedropper so if I just go to chrome extension color pick eyedropper there okay you can see okay you can just go to right here 
click on there. Oops. Okay, so guys, this is where you would go. And I've already got it, so I don't want to remove it from Chrome, but it would just say download from Chrome. Now this is a really cool little tool because, for example, I can keep get the exact color that I want with this bar right here, okay? So if I click on this, see, it goes like that. Now if I left click, copy, and now you have to close this, okay? And then I go back to here, anywhere I want. So if I go to the cog button here, and if I click on here, and I want more, you wanna click on more, I get rid of that, and I control V. Now you can see it's changed, right? It's a little bit lighter. It's the exact same color as that other one. Now I'm not done, because I gotta do it on this side as well. All right, so I go to more, get rid of that, and there it is. That is the exact same color as this, okay? So you would do that for all of the tabs if you wanted to keep it congruent, okay? Now, for the demo, I'm not gonna do that because there's quite a few tabs and I think you guys understand what, what you gotta do. But I want what I want you to show you now is, if you also wanted to change it. Now guys, if you wanted to change the inside color, so this is all clear, so for this example, it works very well. But if you wanted to change the page colors, the inner color, see there is no inner color, but normally there is, okay? So I could go like this. I could click on here again. Now if I want the inner color to look like this, again, I would copy that and then put it in here. Okay, choose. So that is the exact same, okay, for in here and in here. And this one is black, so I can Yeah, that's right. Okay, guys. Perfect. Okay. And again, if I want to change this, I can go up here and change it. So get my color pick, grab that, delete it, go up here. Or get rid of that. Okay, so that's all the same now. Okay, guys. And the one thing I want to show you before I go Actually, I want to show you this too. So this, you'd probably want to change this into a darker color. So you'd want to highlight that and you want to link it. So it's not called flare for this example because we're doing tweet X. So I would say tweet X. And again, you guys, you would put your affiliate link here, okay? So I would say, okay. And now right here, I would probably change this to a darker color, maybe a blue, let's, have, let's see how that looks. See, that kind of pops out, okay? And now, I didn't hide, I didn't link any, any affiliate link because this is just a demo, okay? But I would, if I wanted to, I would just go to my, my page here and I would highlight my link. I'll just do it, okay? So I'd highlight that and put it right there. Go to there, tweet. X. Okay. There we go, guys. See, now it is linked, okay? So that is important. You don't want to forget that. Also, I would put that in here. I'll just do that now that I've got it. Okay. And we want to save. We don't want to lose our information. And then finally, guys, before I wrap this demo up, let me just show you what you would do if you wanted to change the countdown timer. Okay. So here's a countdown timer countdown timer so you would pick first of all you go to the calendar you'd find the day that it was going to launch for or sorry the day that you want this to end so normally three or four days after your launch so maybe august 26 okay and here's the time a lot of people will do it till midnight so i could just say okay now here we go again you guys change the color get it again so if I go to left click there copy close go 
back to countdown settings now there we go okay there we go guys so we've got the countdown page the countdown timer all the buttons the background everything looks like it's the similar flow with the sales page okay like this all right guys so it's just better visually for the audience and then you would just go through your regular review okay and if you have a photo of yourself you put that in the bottom here if you have a website you put that in the bottom as well guys so it's just going to help the audience feel like everything is kind of professional looking and smooth so just wrap up so in this video we changed the background we changed the tab colors we changed the heading color here to match the sales page we changed the background page changed the logo the heading the bundle and we changed the inside colors as well okay guys so if you don't know about image hosting, the free image hosting, check out my other video and I'll put that in the link down below, okay? And I'm gonna have a few more tutorials about launch jacking as well, okay guys? So I hope this helped. If it did, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions about making money online, you can hit me up on my website, you can hit me up on social media, on my, my email, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, guys. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care, Kieran Guy Hawk. Review, review sacks and tips.